Defenders have infiltrated the power plant. They triggered a lockdown. I'd rather not have their slash and burn tactics anywhere near a nuclear reactor. We need to shut down the broken transformers and restore the power grid. Reactor unstable. Emergency lockdown protocols activated. 15 minutes to lockdown. Communication relay offline.
What is going on everybody? PHX here. Thank you for stopping by and in today's video we are going to be discussing how you can solo the hunters in the new mode countdown in the division 2. So you're probably asking yourself well, why would I want to solo just the hunters? Well if you are you know like me or anybody else you have a limited amount of time and hunters are guaranteed to drop named items your targeted loot you know between 12 and 24 pieces of loot just between the four of between the four hunters um so now be with that being said you know you can load up into a countdown mission take maybe about 10 10 to 12 minutes soloing the hunters and then gathering your loot and then either repeating it or not uh so frankly i mean i just felt that this was something to kind of bring the attention to um because you know a lot of people they don't want to match make they don't want to go into the countdown mode uh they don't want to do the objectives or they don't they just don't have the time so if you're able to just solo the hunters gather some loot find what you want to specifically find for you know that's one way to do it so now uh with this uh, uh with the build that i'm running it is a pure pure deep bs build with one armor slot um and then we're just gonna go ahead and get right into this build so to start off we are running with the technician specialization to use the uh, tactical link laser with our king breaker AR. So now with the King Breaker, what we got going on here is we have a total damage of 131k, 600 for DRPM, and then a 50 round mag. We are proficiency rank 7 on it, so we're almost there to max out proficiency. We have 50% assault rifle damage, 70% health damage, and then 6% damage to armor. We got the perfect flat lane, amplifies weapon damage by 20% to pulsed enemies. After two kills, applies pulse to the next enemy you hit. We got the long optics rail, 5% critical hit chance, 20 round mag with a negative 10% reload speed link laser pointer to get that uh, spotter proc and then we've got the five percent critical hit damage as well we are running a vector you don't have to run the vector this is for another build that i'm kind of currently working on um as you can see i have a ton of different smgs that i'm kind of feeling around um but this yeah this is for another build that will come out later this week so make sure you are subscribed to the channel and make sure you uh, give a like and turn on notifications as well. Let's throw that in there. And then, but if you wanted to run something else, I would recommend you run the classic M1A. Run classic M1A with flatline because this does provide a lot of DPS, especially when you're uh, aiming down sights and getting those headshots on the hunters. You're proccing two, three million just with this alone. So definitely I recommend using the classic M1A. Um, and the King Breaker as well. So now for the gear itself, we're running the Grupo Sombra Mask. We have 13.6% weapon damage, so it's not even fully maxed yet. Proficiency rank three, 6% critical hit chance, 12% critical hit damage, and we are running a crit damage mod at 11%. We also have the 50% critical hit damage for the brand set. For the chess piece, we are running the named chess piece closer from Uzina Getica. We have got our armor at 141k, 5% total armor with the brand set, which is really nice. If we maxed out the armor, we probably would have about 940, so almost 1 million armor just with this uh, uh, with this chess piece alone. We got critical hit chance at 6%, 10.9% critical hit damage, and then 10.8% critical hit damage as well. We've got perfect spotter, increases total weapon and skill damage by 20% to pulsed enemies. For the holster, we're running the recon holster by Siska Viobra. 10% critical hit chance with the brand set, 50% weapon damage, proficiency rank three, 12% critical hit damage, 6% critical hit chance. For the backpack, there's a couple of different variations that you could do with the backpack. So for me, I'm currently running the TAC 48 hour backpack by Providence. Um, I've got 50% headshot damage, 50% weapon damage, proficiency rate 6, 12% critical hit damage, 6% critical hit chance, and then 11.4% critical hit damage. Uh, running vigilance with the weapon damage by increased total weapon damage by 25%. Now, what you could do if you really wanted to, you could run Memento just to get armor and skill tier and your weapon damage. However, you're not going to be able to proc the 30% weapon damage because you're only up going up against four hunters. So to build stacks with this is kind of meaningless, but you can do what you want to do and run this 
just to get a little more buff to yourself as a person and to your shield. Or you could run a Yuzini Getica rucksack and then have vigilance on it, run some armor on it, and try and roll another DPS crit chance or crit damage, whichever one you do get. Um, you could use Unstoppable Force. The problem with Unstoppable Force, though, is that kill, you know killing an enemy increases total weapon damage by 5% for 15 seconds. That's up to five times. You're not going to have that much time just because you're going to have to go through the cycle of fighting the hunter, having them heal, and then fighting the hunter again. So you can run it if you really wanted to, but it's not very viable in this situation. So I would recommend that you do run the Yuzina Getica rucksack with a with vigilance as well. Um, if you wanted to do, if you wanted a little bit more tankiness, you could run Bloodsucker. 10% uh, bonus armor for 10 seconds. Again, you're only going up against four hunters and the amount of time it takes each hunter is probably about two minutes, maybe less than that if you're very good, if you're aiming for headshots. Um, but it's all very dependent and it's all how you want to just run your build. Um, for the gloves, we are running the Tsar Fist Enhancers for 50% weapon damage, a 10% assault rifle damage from the brand set, 0% uh, zero zero proficiency rate, 12% critical damage, 6% critical chance. And then lastly, we are running the Fox's Prayer Knee Pads, 50% weapon damage, 10% rifle damage. So this would definitely come in handy if you are running the M1A. Um, Five proficiency rank damage to target out of cover is 8% and the 6% critical chance. Now, if you don't want to run your M1A, then I would recommend you switch out the Fox's Prayer with the uh, Fenris Group AB knee pads. Do that and then do contractor's gloves to get that damage to armor as well. That way you are kind of offsetting the loss of amount for damage to target out of cover because the hunters they do stay in cover for pretty much the whole entire fight um but again it is all dependent for the skills we're running the crusader shield and then we are running our reviver hive as well but um other than that guys that is the build that's the build that i'm currently using to solo hunters in uh, in countdown and it's been very viable i mean i'll hop into countdown i'll take on the hunters you saw in the gameplay footage beforehand and it's just it just makes life easier um especially because you know the hunters they do provide a challenge they're fun to fight uh it's just it's a it's it's a definite, definitely unique experience, at least I believe so. But other than that, guys, that is it. That is the build in a nutshell. So definitely leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think of the build. Let me know what you're running if you are trying to solo the hunters. And then if you have any questions or comments, I will do my best to answer them for you. Um, other than that, guys, I'm going to go ahead, do another gameplay footage of soloing hunters with this build. And then uh, I look forward to hearing from you. All right, guys, that is all I have. I hope you are uh, doing well. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up. And I will catch you guys around in the next video. Take care. System reactivated.